Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how to make some game passes for your game. These game passes will be a jump boost game pass, a walk speed game pass, and a jump boost and walk speed game pass. Um, so if you guys are excited for this video and you want to earn some Robux, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And uh, oh, by the way, earn some Robux. I meant by doing Robux. Uh, by selling game passes, but also if you want to earn some robux, leave a like and subscribe because and join the group and the discord because we are going to be doing uh one I can't I've just forgot it it's early in the morning okay um a one thousand robux giveaway I've already done a twenty robux giveaway for no reason just to prove to you guys that I am not joking about it I am doing a thousand robux giveaway at 100 subscribers so subscribe and join the group because you need to be in the group to enter the giveaway also um and join the discord and yeah let's get into it so first thing you're gonna, gonna want to do is enter a screen gui to um star gui you can name it whatever you want i'm just gonna name it uh game pass right so in this game pass gui we're going to add a text button um if you go to size and properties right here you're going to want to change the offset well as you can see here if i go to view wait no if i change the device to the phone see if i put it in the middle of the screen for the phone it's not going to be in the middle of the screen for the computer because that's because of the offset so what you're going to do is set the offset of it to zero for both um the x and the y so that way when you actually oh wait it's small now i always forget about that okay now you need to actually expand it okay i made it right here all right um nine, now we need to re-expand it just make sure it doesn't go off the map all right set to zero it's off off to zero why is it doing that right now Okay, no, that's not what I want. The offset. Oh no. Okay, the size. What is happening? The size. Now it's not. Oh my gosh. The size. Okay. Set it both. Zero. Zero. And zero. There we go. Now I can expand it. Finally, so now it won't be off on any device. Alright. As you can see, it's actually using scale and not the offset now. So we can change the text of this to, this will be the jump boost one, so jump boost and text scale. Alright, so now we're going to add a local script inside of it. But, First, we need to actually create the game pass before you can do anything. But before we do the game pass, you guys are going to go to game settings and um, you're going to publish the game because that's the only way to make a game pass. It needs to be published. Keep it private though and just publish it. To do this, you're going to go to roblox.com, click on create. And we're going to look up my creations games, and here's my game right here. Should be the first one. And you're going to create. Oh wait, that's no, create a badge. Um. All right, you're going to create a game pass. All right, so I already have this one just to test it from earlier. And I'm going to name this jump boost test again. Again. Oh wait, no, we should choose the file first. Right, I'll choose the file after this, and then you're going to description. It's the test, bro. All right, and then I'm going to choose the file because I don't want to leak anything. All right, so um, you're going to click preview and verify upload. All right, there you go. So jump boost test again. You're going to configure it. And you're gonna go to sales and make the item for sale. I wanna just change it to 99,999 Robux. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna set it to one Robux just so I can test it out. Um, then I will 
Oh, okay. Alright, I now we need to actually uh cut it. Oh, but first, see up here where it shows this number. You're going to want to copy this number because that number actually um is the ID, and you need the ID to be able to make the script. Alright guys, I'm in the script now. I'm just going to delete the hello world, put two dashes like this, so this won't interfere with the script. I'm just saving the number here, and I'm actually going to be pasting the script. I have a link to the script in the description, um, because it's kind of long, so I'm doing you a favor. Go down description and get the script. Alright guys, here is the script here. It's going to be labeled um the script one, that's what it's gonna be called in the description. Script one and it'll have a link to a Google Docs. So you're gonna to wanna to copy the script and the local ID is going to be your ID that you just copied because um if you set it to my ID, then people are gonna be buying my product and you're not gonna be making any Robux. No. You want to put your ID, okay? Yours. Alright. So there's the local ID. So what this is, this will basically do. And the first script. If I click on it, okay. Well, I already own it. I need to unown it. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna do delete from inventory. There we go. I no longer own it. So back here. Uh, if I now play the game again, um, yes, it says it is, uh, for one Robux. This is a test purchase, so it's not actually spending my Robux, but nothing happened. Just because we didn't add the second script to make things happen. Also, if it says you cannot purchase this item because it is a third party item, what you need to do is go to settings. You're going to go to um, I think it's security. Yeah, and you're going to enable third party sales. It's just a weird thing that you need to do if it doesn't work, so be sure to do that. Alright, now what is happening to the ground? Oh my gosh. Alright, oh, uh, just ignore that. Right. Server script service, you're going to add a script, um, and you're going to use the same ID as last time. So I'm going to go here. APID, go to this script, and dash dash this, just so it doesn't interfere with the script. And then this script will be under script 2 in the description, so get it, and copy it, and paste it, and remember, put this ID there. Alright, there we go, we have the script here up. Okay, this is actually the script for both of them, but in the description, it will not have this walk speed here. Alright, so this, uh oh, so we need to place those up. This is the test ID that I use to make sure that the script actually works. But, alright, we're gonna create it, put, paste a new ID there, and there we go. Now, um, if I do it, I test it out. Jump boost. You want to buy the jump boost test again for one Robux, just please. Also, it's a test purchase, my account will not be charged. Oh. There we go, there we go, you see me jumping high? Woo! But, there is a problem with this. It says I, um, test purchase, I do not actually own the game pass. So that means, whenever I die... Dun 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 dun. Whee! Whenever I die, um... The game pass would have disappeared since I don't actually own it. Okay, but to do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy, rebuy the game pass. So let's just pretend I'm a customer. I'm in the game right now, even though I'm clear thing on Roblox. Just pretend I'm in the game, and I'm going to be clicking on the button to buy the game pass. All right, buy now. I spent my own Robux and my own product, and now let's go back to the game. Now, when we enter the game, if we press play, I won't even need to buy it because I already own it. So no matter what, I'm going to be jumping high and high 
and high and high and high. And as always, you can set the jump boost to whatever you want it to be. I have it 150 right now. But you can change it to whatever you want the jump boost to be. It's totally fine. It doesn't matter. Um, 50 is the normal jump boost. So if you want it to be higher, it would have to be more than 50. Or normal jump power, I should say. And even if I die here, and even if I leave and rejoin, my jump boost will still be there. Ta-da! Alright. Now if I stop it, we can create, you can just create more, uh, game passes here. So if I duplicate this text button, move it over here and I, uh, the text to, um, speed boosts. Okay. And then I go. Alright, if I create a new game pass, um, I'm just going to create both of them actually. Alright, so, um, speed test, and now we'll choose a file. Alright, so I have the thing copied, the ID, so now we're just going to change the script. We're going to change the ID to the new ID. Okay, there it should work. And then in the script service, you can duplicate the script too. Alright, and then this script will be set to this. And we'll set the walk speed to 50, 50, but in order to actually do that, I'm going to change the humanoid to walk speed, not the humanoid to walk speed, I'm going to change the jump power to walk speed. Now, we should already have it, so we should already be fast. Yep, so now we're fast, and we jump fast, as you can see. Um, but, for the last script, um, just to prove that it works, I'm just gonna get rid of these two scripts, that way, now, if I play, as you can see, I no longer run and jump fast, so you can see clearly that this one will work. Alright, I'm gonna duplicate this again, and I'm just gonna change the text to both. And the script here, I'm just going to get the new ID.